Good morning, YouTube. Um, I thought I would pop outside this morning and just do a little intro um, video chat um, because uh, the new video for the Grove Game series is now complete. I have edited it um, down. It had sort of nearly an hour's worth of um, footage in total. And I've managed to narrow that down to 17 minutes, which I appreciate is, um, is a bit of a long video to watch. But in essence, it is new content because obviously if you've been following the channel, I'm, I'm new to the hunting scene, the actual hunting scene, because normally we're hunting things online, um, bargains and quality food producers, that sort of thing. Um, and if you saw the Grove Game series, then that was the first ever time that I have ever been on a hunt, a deer stalk, and it was incredible. And so I wanted to do more with Matt, and he kindly accepted and, and agreed to do it after much bribery. And we went out, and it was amazing because when you watch the first part of it, um, we've literally, we've got out of the car, we've gone over a gate, we've started walking, I've said to Matt, am I right to do a bit of a, a chat? And so I start and about 10 seconds in, there's a deer. Turns out to be um, the wrong deer and a fawn, um, but amazing. So it kind of halted very, very quickly, but it's quite dramatic anyway, so I hope you enjoy that. But it was new content because um, I've never heard a deer being called. I've never actually heard a deer calling. Um, so Matt had this, I forget what it's called, but this little device that calls the, the deer. And it was a bizarre sound. So again, look out for that. The, the videos that I'm shooting, if you forgive the pun there, uh, is not meant to be a video about actually hunting. It's not a video about blowing a deer away and ending an animal's life. It's meant to be an educational type video so that you guys who aren't as fortunate as me um, can experience and learn about what it is actually about. Um, and that, that's the purpose behind it. Um, I wanted to find out exactly how a deer stalk worked and things like that and how it's killed and things and unfortunately the unpleasantness of when the deer is shot it has to happen you could argue it doesn't have to happen but if you're gonna eat it it does have to happen and I know there's lots of people that won't want to see that deer being shot there's lots of people I don't have any interest in watching a deer being shot believe it or not um, but in order to eat meat, unfortunately an animal has to die and so I do feel that I should at least witness um, and find out more about that. And if you compare the deer being shot, um, almost instantly dying as well, and you compare that to what probably happens, and I've, I've not been, but what probably happens in an abattoir. I mean, the people that are sat there thinking, you know, that's cruel or I don't want to see that. I bet you if you had to watch the cow being slaughtered, um, you know, maybe you watch that journey from, from going from the, f the field onto a trailer, however long that takes, and then into the abattoir and, and watching that process happen I bet you would cry your eyes out. I, I would, I, th I think it's horrific. Um, I hope, I hope that it is as pain, painless as possible um, and as quick as possible. That's, that's all that I can hope for, for um, a journey like that. But if you compare that, I, I think that at best you're talking hours, you know, that cow or animal, whatever, it's going to be, it is going to be frightened. It's going to be loaded onto a trailer. It's not going to know what's um, happening. So it, it will be fearful. And obviously when the time comes, it's going to be petrified. But 
go back to the deer that shot, it was in the field, in its natural surrounding, and then the next second it's gone. It, it knew nothing, it felt nothing, and I, I think that's, I think that's the lesser of the two evils. I'd be interested to know what you think. But the new video is out. Um, it's 17 minutes long. Uh, it's longer than the usual videos, but I wanted to do it that way. I've tried to get involved as much as possible. You'll see me with the new, um, my new Harkila jacket and my new Harkila hat. Unfortunately, I'm still too fat to fit into the trousers, but I'm hoping that'll come down soon. So I get involved a little bit, um, and by involved, I mean I, I hold the camera out like that, and I've got a couple of shots of me walking, looking as if I may know what I'm doing. I don't, of course, Matt does. Um, and uh, this time I had to drag the deer up the field, which was incredibly heavy. I couldn't believe how heavy it was. Um, really hurt my back. And then um, Matt Gralicks it there and then, and um, it's amazing because the light drops so quickly. And luckily, I brought uh, an LED light with me to light it up. And I think that the quality is fantastic. And again, if you don't like the sight of guts and things like that, just try and watch it because it is fascinating. Um, I've shown it to someone and they couldn't believe the colors um, of the insides of the deer. Just watch it, just educate yourself. Um, know where your food comes, know, uh, know where your food comes from, know where your meat comes from. The deer, from a complete novice that knows virtually nothing about all of this, I could recognise that that deer was exceptionally healthy. And then when Matt shows you its liver, the colour on it is fantastic. So the, the meat quality will be phenomenal. Um, it was a great evening, a really, really great shoot. Um, it went on a long time as well because, um, you know, the, the, there's no guarantees when you're going out um, shooting something like that. And um, we waited and we waited and Matt called and he called and we were both obviously incredibly patient. He was patient. I was sitting there thinking, nah, ain't going to happen. But we were patient. We were in the right place at the right time. The calling worked. The purpose of the video was actually because Matt hadn't called a deer for himself this year. He's taken people out and things, but he wanted to call one for himself. And he did it, he did a fantastic job. I hope I've done a good job uh, for you guys on the edit. But um, let me know what you think. And um, I look forward to doing more.